What is going on YouTube? W here back with another RuneScape guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at Scurrious, so let's jump right into it. Alright, let's talk about what gear you're going to end up needing, guys. I'm going to show you guys a melee ranged and magic setup here. For the melee setup, we have everything ranging from a high end to a medium end kind of like mid tier melee build. At the very bottom, we have an adamant full helm, amulet of accuracy, any team cape, rune body plate, rune plate legs, rune scimitar, rune kite shield, combat bracelet, mixed hide boots, and a ring of life. This is honestly like the bare requirements I think you would need to start fighting this boss. Right around 40 defense, 40 attack, 40 strength is perfect. You can start meleeing Scurrius down and claiming the bonus XP. It's fantastic. He has a great chance at dropping medium clue scrolls as well, which is a nice little bonus for any account that's looking to get themselves some ranger boots pretty early. Moving over to the ranged mid-level setups, you know, looking pretty good. You've got it starting out with uh, Void Knight tops and Blessed Bodies, Black Dehyde, Red Dehyde, all the way down to a Blue Dehyde, uh, U Short Bow, some Dragon Gloves, and the Coif. This is also, honestly, the bare minimum that I recommend bringing into here. You can probably do it with less, but this will help you get some damage on the boss and get kills more quickly, a little bit more accuracy, and some more damage outs, make it more worth it in the long run. Moving over to the magic mid-level gear, you see at the very bottom over here at the least effective, all we have is a Xerxian hat, an amulet of accuracy, and a god vestment cloak. Magic, honestly, is pretty good at defeating Scurrius, so you don't need... A lot of gear but you know adding in the Xerxes tops and robes Iben staff or upgrading the mystics or elder chaos blood barks and whatnot honestly will help making the boss easier all these images are from the wiki the wiki is fantastic I'll let you know what kind of weapons and armor you're gonna end up bringing in here you're getting yourself gear let's just start talking about rat bane weapons real quick so the rat bane weapons were a new addition with Scurrius um, I have a couple in my bag right here that you can see. I have the Bone Shortbow, which is the ranged version, the Bone Staff, which is the magic version, version, and the Rune Mace, as well as a Scurrious Spine and 100k coins in my bag. When you end up getting your first Scurrious' Spine, you'll uh, end up wanting to make your Ratbane weapon as soon as possible, just for the bonus damage that you will get for it against Scurrious. To make your Ratbane weapon, you'll end up wanting to bring your Scurrious Spine and the required melee component or ranged or magic, which is either a battle staff or I think it was a U-bow, and the spine to this Historian Aldo over here. And he'll end up offering to make you a weapon. And be like, I want a weapon, please. Yes, yeah, make you a bone mace. Indeed. So it only costs 50,000 coins, and I just got myself a nice little bone mace. So that'll be for the melee kills. I'm going to show you guys a melee ranged and magic kills for this guide. All right, let's talk about Scurrius' location real quick as well for anyone that does not know how to get there. He is located in Varrock, just east of the palace, right here in this sewer, right next to the wall. So as soon as you exit the palace, right outside the walls, boom, there's a sewer on the ground. And you just walk right into this little manhole right here. Once inside the manhole, you can follow the giant, not the giant rats, not the tiny rats, but there are nice little medium-sized rats, like this guy running over here. We'll wait for another one to spawn in. But they start running, and they're going to run their way all the way down to the big broken-through uh, gate down there, or uh, bars, whatever you want to call them. Once at the gate, you can either walk through into a private instance or a normal instance. The normal instance is for anyone doing it in groups, or if you want to fight him with more HP for some reason solo, you could do that as well. Um, I will be going to the private instance to fight him solo, and his HP is much lower. I believe it's 500 in private and 2,000 in normal. Uh, before we walk in, though, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be using, actually. So we're going to start out with the ranged kill. I'm going to be using my crystal armor, anguish uh, as my necklace, amethyst arrows, and the rat bane weapon known as the bone shortbow. I'll also be using Ava's assembler, barrows, gloves, devout boots, and archer's ring. And, uh, yeah, before we walk in, I'm just going to sip a little sip of the divine ranged potion and go ahead and turn on protect for melee. 
And then you can go ahead and climb through into the private instance. I'm also going to flick on Rigor, because why not? It's really not needed. He's super easy boss. But we're just going to blitz him down as fast as possible to speed this video up. So boulders are going to start falling from the ceiling. You're going to want to watch out for the shadows of those and move as they're coming. Um, once he walks over to a pile, he's going to stop meleeing and swap to ranged attacks, which are green, and magic attacks, which are blue. All you have to do is turn on the prayer accordingly, and you have until it reaches you to actually activate the prayer to, without taking damage. Um, once he's eating at the piles, he's also going to heal as well. He'll walk back over and start meleeing you, so you'll want to turn on Protect for melee, and now he's running back to a pile. He's going to start eating. You'll see his health goes up by 10, and he throws a ranged attack. So we're going to turn on Protect from range, magic attack, Protect for magic. He's going to spawn rats. He'll do this every so often throughout the fight. You can one-tick hit them with a rat bane weapon and just fly through hitting them real quick like so, or you can just focus on the boss. Um, at lower levels, I highly recommend that you guys focus on killing the rats to avoid taking extra damage and just doing the correct prayers. You know, survival is key. It's not kills per hour here for you guys. You guys just really want to focus on surviving and getting your first few kills in. And there we go. That was our uh, ranged kill. Super easy, guys. Not much to the fight. So we're going to swap over to our melee gear and start meleeing down him, uh, the Rat King Scurrius, on this kill. So we're going to turn on Protect for melee, because he's going to spawn. Might as well just throw on some piety. And we're just going to go beat him up. For my gear here, though, I have the Natiz Not Face Guard, Torture, Bandos Chestplate and Tacits, Primordial Boots, Berserker Ring, also rocking the Barrows Gloves, D-Defender, and Ratbane Mason Fire Cape. So we're just going to sit here and beat him up real quick and keep hitting him. His health is just going to keep going down just like it was before. He's going to walk over to the piles and start eating. Blue means protect from magic. Green is going to mean protect from range. We get another magic attack at us. And like I said, guys, you have until the attack reaches you to turn it on. So you really have all the time in the world. Um, not too hard at all. Rats got spawned. We're going to focus on killing them. He's going to turn around and start hitting me. So we'll just turn on protect from melee. Keep dodging the boulders as they're falling too. Probably sip a little thing in my prayer potion here. I'm not flicking piety and rigor and stuff, so we're uh, running out of prayer a little bit quicker than normal. There we go. It's actually my first time using the mace, so I'm not used to its attack speed yet, but actually getting a little bit more used to it quickly. Forgot you can one tick these with the mace too. You can one tick them with the ranged weapon or the melee weapon and the magic weapon. Super nice. You can just pop, 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 pop. Nice little XP bonus. This boss also gives bonus XP for killing him and defeating him and like any hit against him. It's really nice. He drops a whole bunch of alcables. As you guys can see right there, we've already got 30k in alcables on the ground. We're gonna swap over to our magic gear for this kill, everybody. We're gonna be using, as you can see, Arams, Occults. Eldenis Ward, Sears, Tormented Bracelet, Bone Staff, Imbued God Cape. Not the best gear, not the worst gear. Turn on Protect from Melee once he gets over to you and just protect from him. Might as well turn on Augury now because with that buff last week or the week before, it actually increases your magical strength by 4%, guys. So that's nice. It's actually useful to turn on now. It's not just a little accuracy bonus. You'll get more damage out of it. So he's walking back over to the piles. He's going to start healing and throwing out ranged and magic attacks. Go ahead and turn on your protect from range, then protect from magic, or whatever order he's attacking you in. You'll see it on your screen. And we have a rat spawn, so we're just going to go ahead and take them out real quick and turn on protect from melee because he's coming over. It's a little too slow on it. That's all right. And there we go. Rats are down. He's walking away and going back. He's going to start flinging stuff at me again. Watch out for the debris falling from the ceiling, guys. That's always pretty easy to dodge, but it'll give you a nice little chunk of your health gone if you let it hit you. Here, I'll let it hit me show you guys. Bam, 13. Nothing crazy, but just, you know, avoid as much damage as possible so you can make your runs keep going. Once he walks to the middle of the room, I didn't explain this last time, guys, and he goes to the middle of the room, he's going to increase his attack speed, whether it's with the magic attacks like this, or he's going to keep making boulders fall more often, and it's a boom attack coming. You see, his he just starts attacking quicker. So you can either focus him down during this part, or do the rats, but just really focus on survival. I mean, it's really not too hard. My prayer ran out. I'm just trying to show you guys that he's attacking faster. I wasn't paying enough attention to that. 
But uh, yeah, super easy boss. We're going to get him down now. Stop just showcasing his attacks. It's really not too fast, you know. It's a nice warm-up for Jad, honestly, having to swap between attacks. I highly recommend every account come here before the fight caves. Get a little used to some prayer swapping and just, you know, little... I wouldn't even call this high intensity, but little high intense fights with these rats spawning and just, you know, mobs coming at you. Get you used to it. But that is all there is to the guide, guys. That is all there is to Scurrius. We just showed you a melee ranged and magic kill. Super fun, easy boss. He drops clue scrolls left and right. And he's got a pretty cool pet. He, you know, drops himself as a pet. You know, he'll be him with these two little rats on his back. It's pretty cool. Um, we'll walk out of the room real quick and pull up the loot table on Scurrius. All right, he's always going to drop you some big bones and rat meat. You know, we got some equipment drops over here, some nice alkables at a very steady rate. You got some ammunition drops and chaos runes. These chaos runes are super nice because it's actually what you'll use to charge the Ratbane staff. So you can essentially, I mean, you'll run out of charges, but you can help maintain how many you have in there just by his drops of chaos runes. He'll drop you lobsters and trouts and fish and sharks to keep you going in the room a little bit longer. I also forgot to mention, in between fights, you can eat from his cheese piles. You cannot do it while he's alive, but if you eat from his cheese pile every 10 minutes, it'll instantly refill you to full HP. Um, he'll drop you prayer pots to keep you going. Medium clue scrolls at a 1 in 25. Medium clue scrolls are awesome. Had a chance for the ranger boots for anyone looking to make a nice chunk of change. Scurrious Spine is the drop you're going to be looking for until you get your Ratbane weapons. It's a 1 in 33, so pretty frequent drop there. Once you have an excess of bones, I just got my last one and have extras in the bank, you can actually use them on Historian Aldo over here for bonus XP. I believe it's either five or 6,000 something bonus XP per spine and a skill of your choice. Oh, he drops you long bones, curved bones for construction and stuff, and the Scurrious Pet Scurry is a 1 in 3,000. But that is all we have, guys. That is Scurrious. Thank you all for watching the guide and hanging out with me. If you would like to see any other RuneScape bosses or any other guides or content, just let me know down in the comments or if there's any way I can improve this current one or something I missed. Let everyone know in the comments. Tips are always appreciated, and we'll see you next time. Game on, my friends.